Okay, so this is Thanksgiving 2019 that I have five laptops, actually six, but I don't use the uh, HD 3000 anymore. HD 4000, 4400, 4600, 5500, HD 620. I installed most, all of them is Mojave minimum. I don't use um, High Sierra anymore. Even with the oldest one, Ivy Bridge HD 4000. So, how I'm going to do that? I have two laptops that I'm running Catalina. So, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to get all of these boot the installer and also boot the Mac OS themselves. So, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we can get the installer made with original app from Apple Catalina High Sierra Mojave so how do you do that the first thing we want to do is to put this utility to create you can have a nice updated one so right now I use 5070 after you create that then you will have a clover now the ACPI always use the original DSDT from the beginning to start and in order to get the original DSDT is you to use I use read write everything to extract my tutorial to know how to do that I'm not going to go through it here is all the patch folder that I have so 5.2, MacBook Air 5.2, which is HD 4000. MacBook Air 6.2, HD 4400. MacBook Air 7.2 is for HD 5500 Broadwell. 142 is MacBook Pro 14.2 is for the newer KB Lake. The one that I have right now, patch, is MacBook Pro 11.2 and this one is for HD 4600 which is this laptop I'm doing right now. Always put the original one in there and start with the DSDT only. You don't need the SDT. The next one we want to do is the KEX. So the KEX for the 5070 is in the other folder and for the beginning, you don't really need, actually, this is what you need right here. ACPI, ASCI port injector, if you don't have the BIOS to turn it on. So I just leave them in there. Flex SMC, I use the version with the 1758, this from Rehab Man. Lilu 1.39 USB inject all 0.7.1 Voodoo 1.9.2 and whatever green 1.3.4 All you need are these to boot and install. Now, for those like me who has the Broadcom combo replaced with the original one, so the W1560 or the CE123H, and this one you can put Airport Broadcom Fix Up, Apple ALC for the sound, Bluetooth injector, Broadcom firmware data, RAM 3. These are for the Catalina. An ACPI battery management to have this one here and Kodak Commander for uh, the sound to wake up and work. But for now, these are the ones you need. That is Kex.
Very important you have those. Don't put more than what you need. The drivers on the newer 5070, they use driver UEFI. So you can put all the 64 plus the HFF plus and NTFS that I've been using. Now, the config file is the most important one. So let's look at most of these. There's the same, KB Lake. So what do you do in the ACPI? SSDT, drop OEM is no. The name is SSDSDT, the original one. And later you patch it, you put it in there, okay? Fix is only fix these two, that's an old one. Patches. So if you look, I don't patch anything actually. You know what? Better off delete this. You have to understand the ECO to EC, this is for the power of the USB, nothing else. So I do this one. Change the H underscore EC to EC. This also is only for the USB. So some of the DSCT they have this, but I just put it as default. Change everything to EC, so the power. I don't do this one, so maybe I should delete that. So this one is for touch screen, but in Catalina, they don't work. And this one is only for the Apple i square c KB Lake HP NV. So I will change this one to no to get the touch screen working on the Mojave, not really on the Catalina. So fix header, I saw it before with yes, but you can put no and use no. SSDT, drop OEM, no. Generate now. The plug in type for booting, installing, and the initial, the plug in type, I put no. Plug in type one, and this one will ensure that you can boot nicely. Okay, except some old, I mean, HD 4000. Now, sorted order. See, I don't put any SSDT from the read write everything. You use this one is PNLF whatever green. Just change the name to AML. It should work. Now, you patch the NV. This is from Rehab Man. UIAC all, and then you customize it for the port on your laptop. Now this is plug in type one. So instead of using SSDT uh, from SSDT PR Gen on the old version. So if you look like before, you can generate from PR Gen, SSDT PR Gen, and this one is power management. But on the newer version, you use the plug in type one. So you don't need that one anymore. So this one will be a power management, a CPI power management for your system. So you have to understand that. Boot. So actually you only need these three right here. The other one I use is for to wake up some of the Bluetooth that don't work. After wake up, so this one is to wake it up, all right? Ignore VRAM boot. From the beginning, you put yes, ignore it. But when you patch everything and everything is working, then you put it to no and you can devices. Now, fix ownership of all of the USB except you HDMI. Property. So this one, you get it by using hacking tool. So you have to go through my tutorial for each of the, but for instance, this one right here, and you can patch this one, and this one's has well, 4600, see that? And then when you say patch, you put graphics device, advance, you can use that, and then for Dale, 
laptop, you click this one, so it will generate the pre-allocation DVMT. Generate the patch, you can see right there, see the data here? So that's what it is. And also the sound. This is audio. And this one I have to patch uh, 4D, which is 77. PCI root, if you look in here. So this is the Xcode new. If you use the older Xcode, you can change whatever's inside here. GUI, you can choose whatever you want. Graphics. So the platform ID, I use the same one. So inject Intel, no, 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 no. Kernel and patches. I don't know why they have this one here. I don't need it. Force kicks to load. This is KB leg, so I leave this one in here, but actually they don't have it in there. So you can remove that. Kernel to patch. This is the fixed Catalina only ALC. And the other three from Pike Alpha. Kex to patch. So a lot of time you you patch like crazy, but you don't need it. You only need USB port limit patch one all the way to patch four from PM Heart. And the next one I use is Apple Graphic Device Policy, external icon patch, and also enable trim on NSD. I'm not sure, this one's been there forever. System parameter, inject kex, always put the tech and not yes. SM BIOS, you choose whatever according to your system. RT variable, so you make sure the ROM you use. So MAC address, whatever the, the one you use for EN0, use that MAC address, and this is the ROM. The MLB can be anything, okay? 4000. So the 4000 is the old one, you still use the name DSDT. So the patches, make sure that the one you don't use, remove them. So only the power is the one, the USB power is the one that I patch. Sorted order. Now on the old one, since it doesn't have, this doesn't work with the plug-in type, I put all the original one in here, plus SSDT PRJ. Boot is the same. Now on the HD4000, Ivy Bridge, the highest one you can go is Mac OS Mojave. And all you need is the IG platform ID, which is the HD4000 right here. So the kernel and patches are the same. Everything else is the same. HD4400, MacBook Air, same thing. See, I only patch three things. The HD4400, the plug-in type 1 is working. And this one you can run uh, Catalina. Everything else is the same. The property you get got to be from hacking tool. And the graphics, platform ID is 260A0006. Everything else is the same. So let's look at Broadwell which is MacBook Air 7.2, same thing. So what do I patch in here? Oh, this one, they have the XDM, DSM, so I have to patch that one. But only for the H, for the EC. Drop OEM, no. Generate. This one does work with plug-in type one. So we can use that one for the power. Sorted order is the same thing. We don't need as many. Everything else is the same. Now the property, you have to get exactly as, as you see, on the Dell. You got to have frame buffer, stolen memory, and stuff like that. HP, you don't need to. And this one right here is uh, audio. So 1626-006, inject no, all. All right, everything else is the same. So this one is MacBook Pro HD 4600. Yeah. Now for the 4600, Cax2 patch, you need the, you do need the, well go to my video on MacBook Pro, okay? What the 11.2 4600, more in detail. So all of these config, you set up correctly, the ACPI is correctly, and the Cax correctly, 
the UEFI drivers, if you use them correctly, you will boot with every single laptop. Okay, now let's boot every single laptop. So we're going to boot Mojave under Dale Broadwell i7 7550U. We're going to boot from Catalina. So we're going to boot from Mac and Stock Catalina. Okay, so we're in. This is a Catalina installer. Okay, so it is boot for Mac OS installer Mojave. So I'm just gonna do Mojave and Catalina. Kernel pre-link error. Hello load. kernel from stream. We have problem there. We always have this uh, low RAM disk. So it depends on where you put your USB port. It's so finicky especially with this day so it's nothing's wrong with the config nothing's wrong with the clover it's the usb port so you got to try them all the boot clover all different combination for it to work done this is mac os mojave installer and this is on the dale i have the boot installer from high sierra i'm going to boot from this one too Again, because I put it over on this side, I got this problem. So I'm gonna and move This it. time I move this one over here. Okay, so this is High Sierra installer, Dale Broadwell. So booting Mojave installer. So we're using the hub for all the USB boot. And this one is USB uh, bootloader. Okay, oh. so this is Mojave installer. Okay, so this is Mac OS High Sierra installer. Okay, so this is High Sierra Catalina. Okay, so Catalina is done from the installed Mojave. Okay, so we boot it to yeah, Mojave. We're boot to Catalina. All right, Catalina is done, so. Okay, so this is Haswell 4400. Okay, so the high Sierra installer yeah, is gonna boot from Mac OS Mojave installer. So now we're gonna boot to the Catalina. Okay, so the Catalina Installer is done. Air 62 HD 44. Okay, so now we're gonna boot from Mojave. Oh, this is X360 i7 HD 44. Okay, so we're in. Okay, so this is NV IV Bridge HD 4000. This I'm gonna install Mojave only. So we're gonna boot back and install Mojave. So this one is a little bit different from all the other ones. So, I booted from the same USB hub, and this one is the uh, Mojave installer, and I booted from the USB port on the right side here, and it's gonna have the ACPI error as well. Okay, so we booted in the um, Mac OS Mojave. Okay, so Mojave, okay, this is Mojave on Envy, Ivy Bridge, HD 4000.